Local firm RNSN Biotech has developed a first-of-its-kind skin patch that reduces the appearance of scars. The patch, which looks like a plaster, has been used by plastic surgeons and dermatologists and is now available for public sale. A clinical trial involving patients who underwent skin operations showed that post-surgical scars were 84% smaller after 60 days of applying the patch for at least 12 hours every day, said Associate Professor Tae Hong Liao, who is part of the team that developed the patch. Scar volumes were also 30% lower, compared with scars treated with silicone patches, which is the current standard treatment. Professor Tay, who is the clinical director at the National Healthcare Group's NHG Center for Medical Technologies and Innovations and the co-director of the Skin Research Program at Nanyang Technological University's NTU Li Kong Chien School of Medicine, said the patch works by delivering RNA-based active nanoparticles into the skin through biodissolvable microneedles. No drugs are involved so it is safe and free of side effects that may accompany drug use. It reduces very specifically that scar tissue and nothing else, he added. The firm, a spin-off company from NTU and the National Skin Center, is now marketing the product in Singapore and overseas. It has priced its Renekton anti-scar at around $150, to $176 for a box of seven patches, depending on the volume purchased. It also aims to take the research into RNA-based active nanoparticles further. Next up is using the technology in a skin patch or cream to target eczema, he said. Orinescence Biotech is one of seven startups that have benefited from the $15 million biomedical technology incubator Co-11 of Novena which was launched by Senior Minister of State for Health General Putucheri on Tuesday. Co-11 Ub was set up by NTU, the Agency for Science, Technology and Research Asterisk Star and NHG to help biomedtech startups make the leap from research and development to commercialization. Cited at the Li Kong Chien School of Medicine campus, Co-11 Up is the first biomedtech incubator in Singapore to be embedded in a healthcare precinct within easy reach of hospitals, national specialty healthcare centers and research institutions. This allows the startups to tap the clinical and research expertise there. Co-11 Up will help bridge research, clinical and venture creation activities by establishing itself as a national innovation and translational hub for bettering the health of the population, said Dr. Janel. The startups at Co-11 Up are at various stages of product development. Ocutrec, a spin-off from a asterisk star, NHG and Trendlines Medical Singapore, is collaborating with the NHG Eye Institute to develop a prototype eye movement tracking system to manage the visual deterioration of those with diseases such as age-related macular degeneration, which is a major cause of blindness in those over 50. There is also Lambdagen Therapeutics, which aims to provide off-the-shelf immunotherapies derived from stem cells. Formicide Therapeutics Meanwhile, has developed a cellular implant made up of insulin-secreting cells for effective diabetes management. And he health has an artificial intelligence platform that can help a man detect if he has a sexually transmitted disease. The startups rent a space at Co-11 Up, which partners with national agencies, international industry players, trade associations and institutions to curate workshops and networking sessions to help the startups attract potential funders. One of them, Coronet Ventures, plans to invest in 12 to 15 early-stage healthcare and biomedical science startups in Singapore over the next five years, providing funding ranging between 100 US dollars, 000,135,760 000, Singapore dollars and 3 million US dollars for each startup. Coronet Ventures is a Singapore-based venture unit 
by Cedar sinai Intellectual Property Company, the innovation arm of U.S. hospital operator Cedar sinai Medical Center. The best research cannot change patients' lives if there is no product or service. We need successful companies to develop, validate, manufacture and sell such products before they can enter the clinic," said Professor Benjamin Seat, who is Deputy Group Chief Executive for Education and Research at NHG. Accelerators are not uncommon. What's special here is the partnership model.